This video deals with the e -log feature. It is about to show you how to create, save and send a tech log from the BlueEye app. We'll start by creating a new user who will be able to send tech logs, then switch to the app to explore the e -log feature and finally see the results on the desktop version. First of all, we click on Users. We switch to the Edit mode and click the Add button. Type the name of the new user. Create a password. Select the user's role among the different propositions of the list. On the new line created, click on the email field and write it down. Click Manage Aircraft plus. Select the aircraft that the user will work on. Save. The new user is now created. We can go to the iPad app and explore it. To enter the system, you need a username, a password and the name of your dedicated database. If you successfully log in, the system opens on the Select Aircraft page that displays the list of aircraft associated with the selected user. The first thing to do is to update the device's information thanks to the cloud. Then you will be able to work offline. To update the aircraft data, tap the Load All or Sync Now button on the top right corner of the screen. The system is loading the list of pilots, the technicians working on the aircraft, the M-Hour workshops registered in the address book, the due list of the aircraft, the last 5 cent tech logs of the aircraft and some other information. The green flag and the date of the last synchronization are the guarantees that you can work offline with all the information required. If you don't update the information for more than 24 hours, the flag becomes orange to indicate that you need to synchronize the data again. Tap on the left hand corner to access the app menu. The aircraft list is the section that appears as soon as you open the app. Once the information is synchronized, you need to check the due list that will inform you about the error finesse status of the aircraft. To summarize, if you have blue flags, you can fly. If you have a red flag, your aircraft is grounded and you need to call your technical staff for more information. In the error finesse limitation section, you can see the very next limitations for each unit, flight hours, landing cycles, calendar, you might have additional limitations based on generic counters that you can set up on the desktop version. In the discrepancies, you will find all the open discrepancies, whether they are differed under an ML item or not. When you tap more, you access the aircraft airworthiness limitation within the next 30 days, the next 30 flight hours, the next 30 landing cycles, the next 30 engine cycles, each unit. For the purpose of this demo, we have changed the information on the desktop so the aircraft becomes airworthy. The next section is the related files section. On the desktop version of the system, you can attach an unlimited number of PDF documents that will be retrieved from the iPad and locally stored on the iPad when you tap on the top right hand corner. When logos are grey, it means the files are not downloaded. On the contrary, when they are green, they are downloaded. You can tap on a file and access it via a PDF document reader. You can navigate pages, zoom in and out and print through an air printer. For the purpose of this video, we don't go through the crew member module related to the BlueOps module and we'll go directly to the main module of the app, the eTech Club. On the left side of the screen, you have a summary of the selected aircraft. Picture, registration, current total time and landing status, 
associated engines and APUs if applicable. Below you have a summary of the airworthiness limitations. You will know at one glance whether your aircraft is in airworthy condition or not. On the right side of the screen you have two sections, the not sent section for the logs that are only available on the device. The logs that have been closed and sent to your dedicated cloud database appear in the retrieve from server section. This way, the crew or the technicians can access information related to the previous logs that have been sent. To create a new log, tap on the plus button on the top right hand corner. On the right side of the screen, you have the feature called Quick Flight Mode. We'll see it in another video. For now, we'll see the classic tech log recording. On the top left hand corner of the screen, you will have the tech log number, so in this case, 2021-4. It means it's the fourth tech log recorded on the aircraft since the beginning of the year, for the year 2021. This number cannot be changed, it's like turning a page on your tech log paper log book. However, if you need to change the date for some reason, you can tap here and change the date. Then you have a list of add buttons, so you can create flights, engine daily operation to record your engine one hours and cycles. You can report a discrepancy related to the aircraft or related to one of the engines. You can sign off a release to service after performing a scheduled or unscheduled maintenance if you're an approved technician. You can report your crew duty time and you can take pictures that will be stored as related files for the tech log. You can use this function to take pictures of fuel receipts while away from base. This will go directly to the cloud and be retrieved by the accounting department, for example. Now, let's start adding a new flight. On the left hand side, a new flight box has been created. Below, the system has automatically generated one engine daily operation for each engine installed. On the right side of the screen, a new form has appeared to fill out information related to your flight. At the top of the form, there is a filter that is by default on before flight. Here, you can note all the information you have prior to the flight. If you want to fill in every required information at once, you can filter by all flight to display all the information. Today, we'll stick to the standard procedure and fill in before flight and then after flight. By default, the crew selected will be the same as the one of the previous flights recorded on the aircraft. It can be changed at will, so you can tap on the right side of the box to change the pilot. You get a pop-up window in which you can look for existing pilots registered in the database. Manually add your pilot code name if you're not yet on the list. Tap on the role of the crew member to modify it. You can add additional crew members. You can specify flight attendants, doctors, nurses for EMS flight and you can change their role by tapping on the left side of the box. Then you access the pre-flight section. Select who performed the pre-flight, at what time, the format is hour, hour, minute, minute. Disk declared means all the discrepancies are known by the crew declared. Turn it on to state that it has been declared. You can tap on the button here to access the discrepancies. It's the equivalent of writing nil on the paper tech log. Sign the pre-flight once it has been performed. Then, the captain can sign for the acceptance of the flight. Then, you access the packs list. You have standard weights in kilograms or pounds depending on the configuration of the aircraft. The system will calculate the standard pack's weight automatically. For performance class, you can override this calculated weight to set up the actual pack's weight.
Then you can specify the planned uplift as stated on your flight plan, so the actual uplift that you perform before the flight. The system will display the total fuel at departure based on the actual uplift plus what remained on the fuel tank at the end of the last flight. Then you have the weight section. Empty weight is automatically filled based on the information you set up on the desktop version. The crew weight is based on previous flight information and can be corrected if necessary. The luggage weight. The fuel weight is taken from above. The total weight is displayed here and is compared to the max takeoff weight. If the value exceeds the maximum takeoff weight, you get an alert. The trip section. Flight type. Here is a list of existing flight types that you can select. Mission flight number is a free text field. We'll write down the flight number of your flight plan. You can specify if you are performing a VFR or AFR flight. The front field is already filled based on the last flight. Fill in the expected destination of the flight. It is possible to specify the expected takeoff time and block off time. Tap on the validate button which will validate the recorded information. The form will disappear and you can tap on the done button to return to the tech log list. Tap the send now button if you're connected to the internet. Send us draft is the equivalent of leaving a hard copy of the tech log on the ground before taking off. Tap send us final version when the log is completed and you want to close it. For now, tap send us draft. The system is verifying the information and saving the log in the cloud. You can now perform your flight and then come back here and reselect your tech log. Reselect your flight. By default, on the top of the screen, it is now filtered as after flight. Fill in the fuel after arrival fields. If necessary, you could specify if you did an uplift after the flight. The fuel consumed is automatically calculated. Landing and block on time information. The system calculates the technical time and total block time. Below, by default, you have one landing cycle automatically added to the flight. If for training flights, for example, there are more landings to mention, you can add touch and goes, night takeoffs, and night landings. Here is the remark section. Counters section. If you've used specific equipment that has tracking in operating hours, you can specify the needed information here. You can also specify some operations like the short takeoff, short landings, to be able to calculate the crew's recent experience. When everything is completed, you tap the validate button. On the left, you can find a box with your completed flight. You can add as many flights as required. Tap Add New Flight and fill in another tech log form. We will do it quickly and for the purpose of this video, we'll leave one of the mandatory fields empty. Now that the flight activity has been reported, done. Send now. Send final version. Here we get an exhaustive list of the missing flight information. 
Reselect your tag log. Reselect your flight. We can see that the mandatory fields are the ones written in bold with an asterisk. Enter the missing information. Validate flight. Done. Send now. Send final version. The system is now saving the logs and recalculating the aircraft and engine status and updating the due list. Swipe down to refresh the information. At the end of the first flight we performed, we had 4 hours and 16 minutes left to the next battery check. Since we exceeded the limitation, the flag is now red. The log went from the not sent section to retrieve from server section and can't be modified from the iPad anymore, but can be corrected from desktop version if needed. Now we'll see the result on desktop version. Go to the tech logs page in the operation module. Select your e-tech log in the technical logs list. Click on preview. Click Voyage to display flight delays and hours at flight level. Click Duty and Remark to display a remark table and a duty table. Generate. You can zoom in and zoom out thanks to the slider at the bottom right hand corner. All the information you filled out is gathered on this page. With BlueEye Electronic Tech Log Solution, you do not change the tech log philosophy. You simply change the mean to fill it in to improve your operational efficiency. Cost-effective, sustainable, 100% paperless, secure, cloud-based, multi-user, drastically time-saving, the e-tech log feature is a must-have.